Hi, this is Shane with the Rational Trader. It is Wednesday, Oil News Day, uh, December 12th. Let's take a look at gold first. Actually, let's look at the euro first. Euro was uh, in SIM still. This is SIM. And we hit what is a max loss day for the euro, which works out to something like $130. Um, let's take a quick look here. So here's the London Open. We try to get long there on that break and the market's going to chop sideways here and then long again on this pullback and you don't quite get enough to move the stop so there's another second loss there we missed the nice move here this was the move to go to get either there or on the way back down this is pretty violent um that looks news related this this actually looks like the oil market in fact i thought that was pretty interesting um in any case so we missed that Pretty, uh, pretty, pretty tough to trade that. And then the same thing again here. We, we get long in that pullback and there's just not enough there. So three, three losses in a row and stop. Um, gold, so gold, we basically, if you look at this, I mean, gold's from here. That's pretty ugly. Um, I got short here. Um, and the market goes 24 ticks. I got taken out on, a, I'm trading my 20 ticks here. And then the market just is ugly here and we just stay out of trouble. All right, so we made $40 there. Um, and that's it. And then oil, it's oil news day. This is kind of, this is an interesting day here. Um, so I tried to get short there, but didn't get filled. All right, there's just a, there's a little bit to be had there, but not much. Uh, we chop sideways and then uh, we get long there and take a loss. And in fact, I took a couple, two ticks of slippage on that stop, actually minus nine ticks. Um, so just kind of getting 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 it wrong there. Um, get long here and you move enough to move the stop to entry plus 10 and it kind of makes up for that. So And that was it. So then the news comes out and the market goes berserk. All right, so we stay out of that automatically. We don't start trading again until 7.35. That's here. Um, something that uh, we want to just notice is, you know, we're looking at the volume profile to figure out where to get in, you know, where is the good location. I keep seeing in oil, this case here, where you're at the Globex low or the Globex high. So I think, I think there's a there's a research project here coming up to look at that and see what the impact is of adding, looking um, at, at that location. Um, so we miss kind of miss the nice movie. There's not enough price action through the, the value area low to get uh, to, to find a signal and the market's just uh, um, taken off here. Um, there's a long signal here. I must not have gotten, I wasn't here. I must not, I must not have gotten filled. Let's see, one, two. So you got touched but not filled. You, what would happen? Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. You'll just end up scratching. Because uh, it's going to thrash sideways here for a bit. So we stay out of trouble at this thrashing. And especially here where the POC moves up. The POC is that blue dash line. So, um, then we fall back down and um, are looking here, but don't find anything we like. Ugly, choppy, sideways mess here, which we um, we stay out of trouble. And then this is the painful one. This is the where um, it hurts because we we there's a nice solid move here. It's late in the day. It's 11 o'clock, um, and the, the machine's looking. We don't see the patterns there that we're interested in. And so we missed that down move. Okay, so that's frustrating. Um, which kind of leads to like sort of the theme of tonight's video, which is that if you're in, if you're trading gold, you're just bored to tears because it's so slow and there's nothing happening. It's just ugly chop sideways. And if you try to trade this, you generally lose money. Um, in oil, there was a lot of movement, but you missed it, and so that's really frustrating. Um, and it, of course, the other issue here is that this is not till 11, so this nice move. So you had to wait for that. So that's five hours of waiting. Um, but to the, you know, I'm I'm not doing that. The machine's doing it. I'm just off going about my day. 
and letting the machine do all the work. So the machine doesn't get frustrated. It doesn't, it doesn't run out of patience. It doesn't get bored. It just is doing what I told it to do, which is look for these specific patterns of, of, of order flow and price action that you, machine, have identified as, uh, as having the best How do I phrase that? I, I don't want to say best probability because that's not quite right. Because the way the analysis works is we train the machine and then we run it um, and look at four week blocks of time and find the trades that have the highest return with the lowest number of uh, trades. And then look for those trades, you know, those patterns then of behavior for that market that repeat across all the um, the four week buckets buckets of time all right and so that's what that's what we've told the machine to do is like look we you know we've identified these actions here these are the long actions when you see these long actions get long whoops and when you see these short actions get short all right and these are again specific combinations of price action and order flow and we didn't see those today, or just uh, just uh, twice, but not kind of not where we would we, where we wanted to, right? We wanted to see it right here. It is what it is, and it doesn't it doesn't matter because when you look at it over the period of 120 days, which is the the amount of time I'm I'm looking I'm looking at to identify this. The, the, these these patterns that are um, that re, that repeat often enough with a good result. I'm not interested in in what today's result is. I'm sort of interested in what the the end result is. I tend to look th look at things in three month time periods. I, um, I've, I've expanded out to 120 days uh, recently. Um, and if you look at, if we look at the, my results here, which is activity log, since 11.26 when I started this, you know, I, I switched away from the indexes which were too volatile and starting the, the commodities, gold and oil. Um, you know, the running P&L is plus 1,300 in two and a half weeks. And what you see here this week, this week is right here. It's, you know, I'm up $160 this week. There were no trades on the 10th. And then yesterday was 110, today's 50. And it's easy to be frustrated or bored or uh, angry because there were moves you missed or uh, you spent a lot of time and, and didn't take a trade on Monday and it's, or today, right? You had to wait five hours before the good move came, and you may maybe you saw it, maybe you didn't. Um, but you know we're interested in that number right there. So thirteen twenty across two and a half weeks is a pretty good number, okay? And I didn't have to do anything other than just turn it on in the morning, and kind of that's kind of the point: is that the the, the human emotion that that you would feel because you were sitting here and you missed this move is is not part of the equation. It's not part of this. It's not part of the system that you're you're employing here, and I can't emphasize how important that is. We, we've completely removed the human element from the decision making process, uh, from the trading process itself, except for this right now, here, at the end of the day, when you look at your result and go, I'm not terribly happy with that because of the amount of movement that was there that I missed. And then you do something foolish, like go and change these codes because you happen to see on this one day that some behavior was good, okay? And then you run the next day and now you're out of, you're, you're, you're now off baseline. You don't, your results are, you, they, are, they are unknown. We're making a data-driven decision using a very structured analytical process and now you're off doing what you know every newbie trader does that gets them in trouble which is you know tweaking dials and adjusting things based upon what just happened to you okay and so 
we want to use this we want to use the strength of our intellect and the strength of the, the the technology that we have at our disposal for our benefit okay um, just to share one one example of, of what I'm describing here there's a, a trade today that um, somebody pointed out where you know if you'd gotten in at the market then you'd have done really well and so now they want to get in at the market uh, okay but this person's learned it would be interesting to see the analysis of what happens if you do that it was the, the request I got so kudos to to this member for not just suggesting that this is what we should do but actually asking for the analysis which I then did really quick because we can do that now and it's it's a miserable terrible idea you lose you lose money horribly over the long term would have done really well on that one trade but that that's not useful all right what we care about is the end goal it's like we want to we want to win the war here not not the battle um or it's a football game right we, we at the end of the game we want to have the winning score we don't necessarily care about what happens on any individual play it's the uh it's the end result that matters so um uh, speech over for today and we'll uh set this up to run tomorrow and then where, where are we in the calendar here okay so we've got an, one full week again before christmas hits and i'm not entirely sure what the market what the market open opening time is on the 26th or not i'm gonna what what i was i'm i'm here in town this week but i'm out the next and i was going to um turn the system on and just let it go um but I'm, i i i wasn't thinking about some of these days the market's actually closed and doesn't matter in any case i wanted to there, there's an opportunity here for me while i'm actually physically gone to turn the system on and just let it run the entire time while i'm gone and then um, see how well that works i do that every day but then at the end of the day i come and do this video and and look at what happened and log out and log back and you know, all that stuff but um technically i shouldn't have to do that i should just be able to turn it on and let it go uh so that, let me that'll give me, it's an opportunity to, to test that so we'll see i got to figure out the timing of uh, when the market is open and closed okay that's it for today there's supposed to be a short video and it ends up being uh 13 minutes long all right take care i will see you tomorrow